Hey guys, it's your favorite neighborhood pedophile, Tephobia here. How you guys doing? I'm sorry I haven't been very active this past week. I've just been really busy with school. I had to write a fucking seven page paper and it was awesome, as I'm sure you guys can imagine. And today I'm just going to be talking about the gameplay here. Um, well, not just the gameplay. I mean, I want to talk to you guys about... I have a couple topics that I want to talk to you guys about. I got about uh, six minutes to talk about this stuff for you guys. And, uh, I mean, some of the topics I'm about to talk about are kind of important as well. Let me just get through the gameplay real quick and tell you what I'm using. So, and you guys can copy my classes like a boss. And <laughs> hopefully do uh, as good as I do in this game. I want everyone who's on my channel and everyone who knows me and gets my tips to do as well as I do in this game every game. Um, but this game, I am using the Golden MP7, just like, uh, not, I wasn't using the Golden last, last, uh, commentary, but I was using the MP7 silenced. And I believe I have two attachments on it, and I use that with the, uh, the silencer. And in this game, you kind of have to use a silencer so you can be, uh, a little, like a stealthy bitch, and, like, this guy just be completely oblivious, and, um, I am not gonna lie, I do use the kill streaks like a whore in this one. I'm still using the 357 setup, the original, like, COD4 setup. Um, and I am also using, I believe I am using the MP9, uh, I'm not 100% sure right now, because I haven't watched this commentary recently, but I'm sure you guys are wondering, like, what the hell just happened there, why is the game starting over again? The game's not starting over again, I, uh, I accidentally messed up the recording, or I didn't mess it up, what happened was the host, uh, left the game at that point, and when it does that in the theater mode, it switches it into two separate clips, so it kind of messed it up. But, um, as I said, I was using the MP9, which I, it, I believe is called the MP9. It's the, uh, the second or third semi, uh, fully automatic pistol, um, secondary. And I'm also using the, uh, radar and the portable radar and the Semtex. And the Semtex seems to me to be the only real strong, besides C4, C4 and Claymores, they're okay, but they're kind of, and Bouncing Betty's suck, personally, but C4 and Claymores are okay, too, but, um, the Semtex, I just wanted to use it, because it's a little bit more, uh, mobile, and, um, the portable radar just basically puts everyone on my radar, and just a tip for when you guys are using that, what you guys want to do is just, uh, throw that in a corner somewhere, throw it, even, like, you want to try to toss it in an area where you'll be able to cover the high traffic areas, like, uh, see how I, t I tossed it into this area? Because this building right here is always a high traffic. People are always coming up that ladder, always coming right, this, right there, that open area. They're always spawning around this area, too. They're always coming over here. See on the radar right now, that red dot over here that I see. And I pick him off real quick for another kill streak. Um, but let's jump right into my topics of today. And, uh, my first topic is, uh, the Chicago, uh, mugging i don't know if you guys have seen this or heard of it yet but you guys should definitely look it up i will probably put a link to the to the video in the description it is a very graphic video so i advise if you have a weak stomach or something or you just or cringe easily i would not watch it but it is it's something you watch and you're gonna get pretty angry you're it's gonna give you get you pretty emo emotional i at least got very emotional i cringed when i watched it um but uh the story is uh a few days ago in Chicago, a uh, Chinese immigrant, you can tell he's kind of, he's from, an, he's an immigrant because he, uh, he didn't know English that well, he could hardly speak English, and he did try to reason with his attackers, but they just, uh, were unrelenting, and they kept attacking him, and beating him, and hitting him, punk, kicking him in the face and stuff, but, uh, uh, not to worry, they are all, they have all been arrested, and it has been a 15 year old girl, and two 16 year, or two 15 year olds, I believe, two or three or something like that. The, the girl was the one recording it, the whole video, and was the one that posted it on YouTube. And then there was two seven, or 16 year olds, and then that the one boy that you see in the video, um, that shows his face, he is a 17 year old, and he is being tried as an adult, the rest are being tried as juveniles. Um, but I believe I think they all need to go to prison for a very long time. If you watch the video, you will understand. Probably agree with me. It is pretty graphic and horrifying. But um, another topic I want to talk about before this video comes to an end in a few minutes here, or like another minute here. Uh, SOPA. It's a new bill. It's SOPA and uh, PIPA or PIPA, however you want to pronounce that. Um, it, they're just acronyms. Um. It stands for Stop Online Piracy Act and Protect IP Address um, Act. And what it does is uh, 
it's basically um I don't know if you're fr like if you guys know about China, they're communists, but um if like if you go on the internet in China, uh they have the right to uh block your uh the internet, like they can block any web page that they would like. Um just by if the government thinks that it's corrupting or something like that. And uh the bill is being voted on today. You guys can read about that. I'll put another link in the description for that. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. It's coming to an end right now. I went uh, 30 and 1. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys later. See ya.